What makes Proxima b intriguing is that it is an Earth-like planet revolving around the nearest star to the Sun. This planet stands as the closest one to the Sun, even though it doesn't orbit our star. What sets it apart is its unique status as our next-door neighbor, a remarkable planet very similar to Earth, located just over four light-years away in the vastness of space. Much like Earth, Proxima b is capable of supporting life, making it our distant relative in the cosmos. This planet, orbiting Proxima Centauri, the closest star to the Sun, has been a source of endless fascination. It was discovered not through direct observation, but through mathematical modeling. Recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have revealed some astonishing details about the planet, enhancing its mystery. Is there life on this distant planet? If so, what could such life forms look like? With the release of an actual image of Proxima b from the James Webb Telescope, our understanding of it has evolved, and it's far different from what we had previously envisioned. So, what do we actually know about this planet? Let's begin this incredible journey into the exploration of Proxima b, Earth's closest planetary neighbor. Proxima Centauri, the nearest known star to our solar system, lies only 4.24 light-years away. It is a dim red dwarf star, much smaller and cooler than the Sun, and it is part of the Alpha Centauri star system, which also includes Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. Due to its faintness, Proxima Centauri is hard to see with the naked eye. However, advances in technology have made it a focal point of research in modern astronomy. Telescopes sensitive to red and infrared wavelengths have offered a closer look. Though the star was first discovered in 1915 by Scottish astronomer Robert Innes, only in recent years have we started to understand its potential, particularly regarding its planetary system. How did we get to this point? Astronomers began closely monitoring Proxima Centauri's subtle movements in the early 2000s, focusing especially on its position shifts. These might have seemed insignificant to the casual observer, but experts knew exactly what they indicated. It was suggested that Proxima Centauri was surrounded by unseen worlds. The star's movement was being influenced by the gravitational pull of orbiting bodies. As the observations became more refined, it became clear that Proxima b, the planet orbiting Proxima Centauri, could be one of the most promising exoplanets in the search for extraterrestrial life. In 2016, astronomers from the European Southern Observatory officially discovered Proxima b. Interestingly, they didn't observe the planet directly, but instead detected subtle shifts in the star's light spectrum, caused by the gravitational pull of the orbiting planet. This was done using the radial velocity method with the help of advanced spectrometers located on telescopes like the La Silla Observatory in Chile. Despite this monumental discovery, our knowledge of Proxima b remained incomplete, limited to indirect data such as its mass, orbit, and distance from its host star. Detailed information on its atmosphere, surface conditions, or potential for life was still out of reach. The next frontier for exploration was space-based telescopes, which would overcome the limitations of ground-based instruments. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, a breakthrough in astronomical observation. By operating outside Earth's atmosphere, JWST allows for clearer, more detailed views of exoplanets like Proxima b enabling the study of their atmospheres, chemical compositions, and the potential for life. JWST's advanced infrared capabilities have already begun revealing astonishing new details about distant exoplanets, including Proxima b. So, are we alone in the universe, or could there be other beings out there? Let's delve into this question more carefully. To verify or disprove our assumptions, it's important to understand what methods we've used to gather this evidence, and why we can trust it. The spirit of exploration that defined the 20th century space race is continued today by the James Webb Space Telescope. Although interest in space exploration has waned since the height of the space race, space travel remains an area of relentless pursuit. By the turn of the 21st century, humans had not only explored the moon but were also expected to reach other planets, as famously depicted in Stanley Kubrick's 1968 film 2001, a space odyssey. However, the excitement around such ventures subsided long before they could be realized. Despite this, visionary scientists have kept pushing the boundaries of space exploration. 
This led to the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope on April 24, 1990. Hubble transformed our understanding of the cosmos, offering us the ability to study distant galaxies, stars, and other celestial bodies with remarkable clarity. Positioned about 547 kilometers above Earth's surface, Hubble's location outside the atmosphere gave it an edge over ground-based telescopes, allowing for high-resolution images of the universe's grandeur. Hubble has contributed immensely to contemporary astronomy, including discovering the universe's expansion and identifying dark energy in the late 1990s. It also played a significant role in determining the universe's age, revealing it to be roughly 13.8 billion years old, and helping advance our understanding of phenomena like star formation, galaxy movement, and exoplanet atmospheres. However, despite its groundbreaking discoveries, Hubble's technology has become outdated, necessitating the creation of a more advanced observatory. Hubble's primary observation wavelengths, ultraviolet, visible, and a small portion of the near-infrared spectrum, made it difficult to see through the thick clouds of dust that obstruct star-forming regions and distant galaxies. Although Hubble was periodically updated, some of its equipment remained from its 1990s design, and its small 2.4-meter mirror limited its ability to capture light from distant, faint objects. To address these challenges, NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, teamed up to develop the James Webb Space Telescope. Named after James Webb, who led NASA's Apollo program from 1961 to 1968, JWST was launched on December 25, 2021. JWST is positioned about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth at the second Lagrange point, L2 where it enjoys an uninterrupted orbit away from interference from the Sun, Earth, and the Moon. This location allows JWST to view the universe without distortion from Earth's atmosphere or light pollution, and its instruments benefit from the colder conditions at L2, which are crucial for infrared observations. JWST's infrared capabilities enable it to observe objects that are invisible in visible light, such as distant galaxies from the early universe. The expansion of the universe stretches the light from these distant objects into the infrared spectrum, a phenomenon known as redshift. By observing in the infrared, JWST can capture light from some of the earliest galaxies and most distant objects in the cosmos. JWST's ability to study exoplanet atmospheres is another fascinating aspect of its mission. Through infrared observations, JWST can identify the chemical makeup of distant planets' atmospheres including gases like carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor, key indicators of a planet's potential habitability. By identifying biosignatures in these atmospheres, JWST could help determine whether life exists beyond our solar system. The telescope's large 6.5-meter primary mirror, made of 18 hexagonal segments coated with gold for optimal infrared reflection, is a key feature of its design. This wide mirror allows JWST to gather more light than Hubble, improving the clarity and detail of its observations. Additionally, JWST is equipped with a five-layer sunshield made of a special material called Captain, which protects the telescope from the sun's heat and maintains the low temperatures required for its instruments to function properly. The telescope's various scientific instruments, including the near-infrared camera, NIR cam, Near-Infrared Spectrograph, NIR-SPEC, Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI, and Near-Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, NIRIS, allow astronomers to study objects in unprecedented detail. These instruments enable the study of star and galaxy formation, the composition of distant exoplanets, and much more. With the ability to examine exoplanet atmospheres, JWST has revolutionized the search for life on distant worlds. Through its unmatched sensitivity, it can observe far-off planets and their potential for habitability with greater precision than ever before. Proxima b, located just 4.24 light-years away, has emerged as one of the most intriguing exoplanets discovered so far. Orbiting within Proxima Centauri's habitable zone, this planet holds great potential for the search for extraterrestrial life. Since its discovery in 2016, Proxima b has captivated the scientific community, especially in the realm of exoplanet research. 
JWST has played a crucial role in studying Proxima b, using its infrared capabilities to examine the planet's light spectrum and gather crucial data about its composition, temperature, and habitability. By analyzing the presence of key gases like water vapor and methane, scientists can better understand whether Proxima b might be capable of supporting life. Proxima b, with a mass about 1.7 times that of Earth, orbits Proxima Centauri in just 11.2 Earth days, with a proximity to its star of about 7.5 million kilometers. While Earth is about 93 million miles, 146 million kilometers, from the Sun, Proxima b is much closer to its star, about 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. Despite this proximity, Proxima b remains habitable because Proxima Centauri is a much cooler and fainter star than the Sun. This means that Proxima b receives energy levels comparable to Earth's, making it potentially habitable. However, Proxima b likely experiences extreme temperature differences due to its possible tidal locking, with one side always facing the star and the other in perpetual darkness. These extremes might challenge its habitability, although a stable atmosphere could help regulate temperatures and potentially support life in the transitional region between the day and night sides known as the Terminator Zone. Despite these challenges, Proxima b's potential for habitability remains intriguing. The planet's exposure to radiation from its star, which may strip away its atmosphere or expose the surface to harmful radiation, is a concern. However, if Proxima b has a strong atmosphere and a magnetic field, it could potentially protect itself from these harsh conditions. Proxima b's rocky composition suggests it may have mountains, valleys, or even oceans, though we don't yet have direct evidence of its surface features. The discovery of Proxima b has led to a reassessment of long-held assumptions about the potential for life around red dwarf stars. While these stars have historically been considered hostile to life due to their intense radiation, JWST's findings suggest that planets orbiting such stars could indeed be habitable under the right conditions. This has significantly reshaped our understanding of exoplanet habitability and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Flares, which could strip away the atmosphere of nearby planets, making the conditions less hospitable for life. Proxima Centauri, as a red dwarf, is indeed a star that could pose a challenge to any planet orbiting it, particularly in terms of its potential for sustaining life. But Proxima b stands as a special case because of its location within the habitable zone, where liquid water might exist, which is a critical component for life as we know it. The Terminator Zone and Potential for Life One of the most fascinating features of Proxima b, as discussed, is its potential for habitability despite being tidally locked to its star. In a tidally locked planet, one hemisphere perpetually faces the star, while the other remains in darkness. This leads to extreme temperature differences, with the day side potentially becoming scorched while the night side could be freezing. However, this sharp division between the two sides could be mitigated by the existence of a terminator zone, the area between the day and night sides where temperatures might be more temperate and stable. This region could provide a more hospitable environment for life to develop and thrive, especially if the planet has a stable atmosphere that can help distribute heat from the day side to the night side, reducing the temperature extremes. This theory is supported by the idea that, even with its proximity to its host star, Proxima b might be able to sustain a form of liquid water in its terminator zone, potentially allowing life to flourish in more favorable conditions. But, again, this is highly speculative at the moment, and much more needs to be uncovered before we can definitively determine Proxima b's habitability. The Radiation Challenge and the Role of a Magnetic Field One of the greatest challenges for life on Proxima b is the radiation emitted by its active red dwarf star. Red dwarfs are notorious for their intense solar flares and radiation bursts, which could strip away the atmosphere of any planet that orbits too close. The stronger the stellar activity, the more difficult it is for a planet to maintain an atmosphere over long periods. For Proxima b, this presents a serious concern. Can it hold on to its atmosphere, or will it be gradually stripped away? One way that Proxima b could protect itself from this radiation is through the presence of a strong magnetic field.